you how to make kefir from cream um, with this special power pack punch you may not have thought of before. So here we go. All right, so what we're gonna need for what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna make two quarts of kefir from cream. So in here, I already have uh, one, two, three, four pints, which is eight cups or two quarts worth of cream. Ideally, you're gonna do this with raw milk and then you don't need to do it to heat it up, but um, I don't have access to raw milk right now, so I have organic, or sorry raw cream I have organic cream it is pasteurized though so if it's pasteurized you got to heat it up so right now it's heating up and we're gonna see what the temperature is we want to heat it up to 180 and it's not there yet so it's like 115 and rising okay so we're gonna heat this up to 180 degrees and then cool it down to about 92 degrees. What you're gonna need for one quart of uh, kefir with cream is, this video is if you're using pasteurized organic cream. Um, you're gonna need two pints or one quart worth of the cream. And then uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways um, you'll either need about a third of a cup of previously made kefir or um, a kefir starter pack, and I'll talk about that later. I like Body Ecology is a great, wonderful kefir starter pack. And then you will, I am going to show you how to do it adding probiotics. So I'm going to do two Restore Flora and two Megaspore per quart. So um, if you have those on hand, you can use that too. Okie dokie, I'll be back when that milk is cooled down. Well, I was going to roll on the foam roller, but it looks like somebody was taking a nap. Ooh, she's woke up. How you doing, Piva? How you doing? Okay, we're at about 180. I'm going to show you here. It was already 180. I pulled it off, but I just want to show you so you can see it. And it may be getting up a little bit. So you want to go right about 180. So it's a little over 180. Don't worry about it. Um, you just don't want it to boil. Alrighty. I will come back when it's down to between 90 and 92. Okay, it should be good to go. Might be a little cool now already. See where we're at? We want it to be like 90, 91, 92. All right, where are we at here? Pretty good. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Yeah, it's running right in there. So, what we're gonna do is, I've got two quart jars here. In this quart jar, we're going to do a third of a cup of pre previously made kefir. And in this quart jar, we're gonna do a, a kefir packet, a kefir starter packet. And then in each jar, we're gonna do two Megaspore and two Restore Flora. So I'll put those all in there. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit of the milk in there and stir it around and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so I have put about a cup in with our starter and mixed it around and now the best way to do this is recruit a strong sexy husband to fill the rest of the way up for you. Okay, that's good. And then you're gonna mix that around a little bit and that's just a little funnel that you can get and I find it very helpful. And then he gets to save a little bit to drink because he likes to drink the little bit of cream that's left. Okay, that's great. Thank you, strong, sexy husband. 
Okay, so I stirred it around and then I put the lids on it, on them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a place that's not in direct sunlight. So somewhere on a counter away from the window or I have a little pantry, put it in there and let it sit for 24 hours to 36 hours. Um, 24 hours, it'll be a little sweeter. 36 hours, it'll start to be a little more tart, so you can see uh, how you like it. Um, but either way, I think it tastes good, but you can tell the difference by how long it is. So remember, we're doing this for t at least 24 hours because then the lactose and the casein are broken down and uh, we don't have milk intolerance issues and we get lots of good probiotic and good fat to help our gut heal. So I will be back in 24 to 36 hours and we'll do a little taste. Alrighty, so these guys sat for about 24 hours and um, this is what it looks like inside after I let them uh, go in the refrigerator. So they were in the fridge for, these guys, it's been a couple days now. And I wanted to show you when it first comes out, it'll actually be kind of hard on top, all right? So it sometimes there's like a hard layer on top. All you do is mix it around, and I've already used this one. You mix it around. And then what you're gonna see is that, woo, it's thick and delicious, all right? So I'm gonna show you my favorite way to eat it on strawberries. All right, so we're gonna pop this in here and this is going to be part of my breakfast. So there we have it, kids. Um, in gaps, kefir is generally the last fermented dairy that we introduce. Uh, so it might be further on down your GAPS journey, uh, but remember we're trying to get a quarter to a half cup of fermented food with each meal. So this kefir can be used on top of fruits, like I'm going to have. Um, fruit is introduced in the third stage and we puree it and cook it first. So you could have some kefir with um, pureed and cooked uh, fruit and I can show you one of those recipes, um, but we can also make dips with it. And so I think what I'll show you next is a garlic dip and then a ranch dip made out of this thick, rich cream kefir. It's so delicious and so good for our gut microbiome and our vaginal microbiome. I think that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns if you try it out. How does it go for you? I'm excited to hear, and uh, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast now. Aloha, see you next time.